Elliot, ha- it, l- let's sort of jump ahead and say that Mitch Marner gets offer sheeted for a significant amount of money. Forget about the term for a second. How do yep. you think the Leafs at this moment would evaluate Mitch Marner against the prospect of, let's say, four number one picks? Well, I, you know, I, I think it's very hard to believe that Toronto hasn't considered exactly what they'd do if they got in that scenario. And I'm sure they've waited out is waited out in the sense like, if we do decide to let him go, then what are we going to do with the extra money and the extra picks? And um, you know, I you know, I, I think, you know, I think things have changed in Leafland uh, over the year. I think this has been a challenging year in a lot of ways. Uh, there were a lot of things that were very public. They had a lot of very difficult negotiations, and um, you know, I really thought that. The Kyle Dubas we heard the night before the draft, where he talked about Marlowe possibly being back and not matching an offer sheet, was it was a kind of a different way he would have answered things, as opposed to at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I, I, I like, like I think at the end of the day they want the player, and I think they want the player to be a Leaf, and I think at the end of the day the player wants to be a Leaf, but sometimes you get into a negotiation where the waters kind of get bloodied and people's feelings get hurt, and I think there's there's uh, you know, I do think, and like I've said, I, I think at the end of the day, he's going to be a leaf long term. But if it does work out that way, I, I think there's there's some hard feelings on every side here that they're going to have to get worked out. So, Elliot, so, let me, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was going to say, if we extrapolate this a little bit, if you are Jake Gardner's camp, do you mm-hmm. just hang out for a little bit to see if there's any teeth to this rumor? Because logically... If let's say they didn't match Marner, you then have a ton of money theoretically to sign Gardner. In theory, but you know how big a deal is that going to be now? Hmm. Hmm. Good question. I don't know the answer to that. Well, look, look at their D now, eh? Like, like they they they've added people, and I know Gardner is a left shot, um, but. Like if you're a gardener right now, where are you, where are you thinking you're going to play long term on this blue line? Right, you're not going to get, you're not going to get the minutes. Like you're you're probably a like if if Gardner wants to come back right now, he's probably a third pairing guy. Yep. Uh, Elliot, what you know the rumors that the Montreal Canadiens are being proactive as well it probably probably shouldn't be a surprise, I guess, right? You offer sheet one player and it. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you'd necessarily pull your horns in after that, but if there is there a danger on the part of Montreal that they kind of become the stalking horse? Well, I don't like like the thing is like I don't think there's a danger in that. I think the the one thing that this week proved, and I was happy they did it. Right. Like I think it's about time it happened. I was I thought it was great that they didn't, but what it's a lesson of is that you're not half pregnant, right? you don't just dip your toe in the water. If if you're going in, you're going in. Mm-hmm. And if you're swinging, you're swinging for that fifth deck now. Exactly. Um, like, you know, Dundon, you know, he kind of trolled them pretty good when he had his conference call, right? So, you know, now I think what what this has taught everyone is if you're going to do this, you you better go in and you better swing for the fences. You can't, like the guy who won was Ajo. Mm-hmm. Because from what I understand, Carolina was not budging off the eight-year offer. They were like, nope, you're going to play here for eight years. Or, you know, you can sign for eight, or you can take your qualifying offer and sign for one. That was the rumbling around the league. So now, Ajo gets a five-year deal for Montreal, and Carolina said they're going to match it. Well, now he's a UFA three years earlier than he thought he was going to be if he stayed in Carol- if, he, if he signed Carolina's original deal. Like the agent did his job. He he got he got a great deal for his client. He got him lots of bonus money and he got him a shorter term. So now I think the lesson we've learned is if you're Montreal and you want to do that again, and by the way, I am one of the people who believes that I don't know if they offer sheeted point and he said no. Like points represented by the same guy, Jerry Johansson represents Aho. Okay. I think what happened was Montreal said, Can we do point? And Point has made it very clear he wants to go back to Tampa. I don't think he was interested. Mm-hmm. But like you know, like I think what they've learned now is, if if we're gonna if you're gonna step up to the plate and you're gonna swing for this offer sheet fence, you better it better be like Jeff. Here's one you'll remember, like Jose Canseco off Mike Flanagan in 1990 right. or 89. <laughs> whatever. That's quite a swing. Was. Yeah, that was quite yeah. a swing. <laughs> yeah. 
Elliot, uh, I feel like this is like Kawhi Watch kind of questions, but where did where, what kind of time frame do you think we are looking at in terms of finding out how much uh, truth and accuracy there may or may not be with Marner I don't offer th- sheets? I don't think there's an answer, right? Like, I'm getting on a plane at 8 o'clock tonight, whether or not this happens or not. So, <laughs> uh, you know, like, if, if it's the Islanders or if it's someone else, they can decide at any time. Elliot, we're going to let you scoot. Have a, uh, have a good flight, man. Enjoy your vacation. Thanks for this. <laughs> All right, guys. Say Take hi to care. Kawhi if you see him in the airport, Elliot. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm taking the MLSC plane. So if you see <laughs> it going west, that's keep, me, not you. Well, just make sure you keep it clean so it can have a quick turnaround. Thanks, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. Take care.